Good morning YouTube! It's September 21st and look what just landed at my door. I'm quite excited to get this box from my UPS guy today. This contains the brand new iPhone 5. Check that out. Comes nicely packed with some plastic holding it in place in the box. And there's the box. iPhone 5. This is the black and slate 16 gig version. As is generally the case with Apple products, it is very nicely packed and wrapped in plastic. The box looks great. I like the gray that they've used for the box and I thought the labels were in white when I looked at it under plastic but they are in black. Okay, let's open. Yeah, look at that. Definitely looks like an iPhone. There is no mistaking that. You can see the the home button, the classic home button. You can see the front camera has moved to the center. And it does look bigger. Wow, that's really thin. Really thin. There's the new Thunderbolt port, or there's the new lightning port, the speaker grills, headphone jack, and the color keyed volume up and down buttons. That looks great. Look at the machined edges there. The it really, really is built nicely, like a fine watch. Okay, let's uh, take a look at what else is in the box. Designed by Apple in California. Here's your uh, little folder with the manuals, so don't need that. And there's the charger and the new earpod headphones. So the headphone the earphones come in this awesome case. I didn't expect that. Little Apple logo there. They sure know how to pack their things nicely. So there's a new plug-in, USB on one side. And this is our new lightning charging cable. Wow, that's tiny. And that looks really well made too. Definitely looks higher end than a normal micro USB connector. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the phone some more. I'm gonna 
peel the plastic off. Wow, that really is built nicely. Amazing, amazing build quality. So there's glass at the bottom, glass on top, and this this matte finish at the back is I thought it'd be matte black. It's it's definitely gray, very gray. I guess that's why they call it slate. You can see the new camera there with the sapphire lens cover. Let's compare thinness and size. That's with a Galaxy S3. See the size difference? The Galaxy Nexus, quite a bit different. Okay, let's turn it on. Is it ever thin? It really, really feels slim. It scratches easily too. I just, I've just pulled it out of the box and I have a scratch on it. Hmm. Okay, let's uh let's turn it on. Insert a valid SIM card. Oh, let me do that. Okay, let's put the SIM card in. Okay, so push that in, and the SIM card holder pops out. Right, SIM card is in. Let's turn the phone back on.
set up new iPhone sign in with Apple ID okay so we'll let it uh, set up here Use Siri. Sure, you can send what you need to Apple. Your iPhone is now set up. Start using iPhone. feels very very smooth the screen looks great and let's see how fast that camera is Oh yeah, the camera is so fast. <laughs> the camera is awesome. Video camera. Okay, so uh, that covers my uh, unboxing video of the iPhone 5. Now, as many of you know, I am a big Android nerd, so you're probably wondering why I have an iPhone 5 here. I can't see myself using this for more than a couple of weeks, so I just want to give it a try so that when I am ra ranting and raving about Android, I know what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure in a week or two, I'll be going right back to a nice big screen of my Galaxy S3. I don't know how long I can just look at icons. I like having my widgets and all my customizations. Okay, I'll have more reviews and comparisons of the iPhone 5 versus the SG S3 in subsequent videos. Thank you for watching. So it looks like many iPhone 5s left the factory with scratches but Apple has excellent customer service, so I'm sure they look after things just fine. Thank you.